Hi, I'm Tom with the FCB Lounge channel and in this tutorial I will show you how to import geodetic points into FreeCAD. So as an example I will show you I have this file with points from a surveyor and this is the number of the point, this is the longitude, this is the latitude and this is the height. So this is measured and I will show you how to import these points into FreeCAD into the 3D space so you can work with it in FreeCAD. So let me close this file and to import geodetic points we will use the road workbench and the road workbench is an external workbench so I have already have it installed if you don't have it installed you will have to go to tools fire up add-on manager and here in the search box you will search for road and the road workbench shows up you will click it and here you will have an install button so you will install the install the workbench and then restart your FreeCAD and then you will have the workbench available to you and we will use that one and it's important to mention that the role workbench is meant to be used with the stable version of FreeCAD. So I'm using FreeCAD 1.0. Okay, so let's start an empty file. And here in the road workbench, I will use this tool import geopoints. And if I click it, a task panel with the import settings show up. Now these are the default columns that will be imported and if I look at my file I can see that I have one, two, three, four columns. The first one is the point number, so it's the point name, this is correct. Second should be easting, so this is the longitude, so this is correct. The third one is northing. So this is the latitude, which is also correct. The fourth one is elevation. So this is the altitude. Again, this suits for me. But for description, I don't have a column with the point description. So I will just delete this number five so it doesn't import anything. Now what's very important is setting up correct delimiter because in my file, I have the columns separated by tab. So I will, instead of white space, I will use the tab option. So this is the setup that I do the first. Now I have to select the file that I want to import the points from. So I will add a file, go to my documents and select the file, which is these terrain points large, hit open. So the file is selected here. I could add more files, but I'm uh, importing just points from this file. And now if I click here, you can see the preview of how it will be imported. So I can see the name column, the easting, northing, elevation, and the description is empty. So this seems correct to me. And uh, I could add the points to existing point cluster but my file is empty so I don't need to check this the point cluster will be created automatically so now if I hit OK the import happens and you can see some objects in the project tree and this actually created a uh, road workbench uh, project and if I click here, I've got the clusters and this is the geopoints cluster that was created. But you can see that I don't see nothing in my viewport. This is because I'm very zoomed in. So I have to zoom to fit all. So I will use this tool, uh, fit all. Now I'm zoomed out and you can see some object if I look from the top. Now I don't see anything. Uh, this is because if I'm using a white uh, background, the default color of the points is white. So I have to actually go to the geopoints object 
and change the label, co label color from white I will change it to black and I will also change the marker color to black so if you have different background than the white you will have no problem you will not have to change these but I had to do it so these are the imported points and if I zoom here you can see that these are the points and this is the point number and this is the elevation in meters now let me just set up the points a bit if I click on the geopoints cluster you can see that uh, let's say I don't want to see the number so I can remove set the number to false and I don't want to see the elevation I just want to see the easting and the northing so this is how you can set up the label visibility I can also change the label size if it's too too large I can also uh, change the marker style so I can change it to I will actually leave the circle and change it to cross and I can change also the point size so you can edit the label visibility and what's important during the geopoints import the road workbench placed the points uh, closer to the center of origin of the file than what the points are really placed at so uh, you can see this widget shows the true meter position of the of the of the cursor so if i move here you can see it's showing the coordinates in meters whereas uh, this now the the free cat position actually i think it placed the first point at the beginning of the coordinate system so uh, let me actually change the numbers to true and elevation or oh, maybe eastings to false and also elevation to false and northern to false and now I will look at the point number one and I think yep it's here and if I switch to a draft workbench and I would create a line with the beginning at the point zero 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 you can see that if I click the second point the first point on the line was placed at the first point uh, of the of the geo points import so the road workbench does the recalculation into the into the true coordinates of the imported uh, geodetic points so this is quite important now let me actually delete the line and let me show you other options of the geo points import so i will delete these geo points or let me not delete them let me just hide them and do the import again you can see that all of these settings are reset so i will change the the delimiter to tab description to zero and let's now say that the surveyor send the information and the first one was actually uh, northern and the second one was easting the column so i would have to switch those so i would set the easting to be the third column and the northing to be the second column now if i add the file and the documents i will select the file again you can see that those points are switched and i will uh, I will add uh, I will create a new cluster again I will hit OK you can see that the new geopoints cluster is selected uh, created and I will fit selected and select fit selection and again I don't see anything on my screen because the label color needs to be set to uh, black and also the marker color I will change to black now again set the view all so now you can see that the trans the points were imported uh, with a with a different with a switched eastings and northings so this is how you can set up the import
Now let me create a new empty file. So I have a new empty file. And let me show you another example. I have this turn points comma separated, which is uh, a similar, similar uh, data structure, but these longitude, latitude and altitude are separated by comma. So this is again point number, latitude, longitude, altitude and uh, point description uh, columns. And if I would import this file with this default setting and using the white space as delimiter, if I would add this file and it's again in the documents and it is comma separated file. If I would look at it, you could see that uh, the import was looking for a white space or a tab to delimit the data. So it imported all of the all of the data into one column, which is not correct. So I don't think it's actually possible to change it now. Uh, so I will have to cancel out and I will import start the import again and I will leave these as, a, as they are and I will change the delimiter to comma and add file and in the documents I will select this one now if I click here you can see that it detected the columns right and if I hit click OK and select the geo point objects you can see that uh, I will have to again change the color for you to see them correctly so these are now imported. Now the last and very important thing I will tell you is that the import works always with the values and you can see that this uh, this file does not say which values these are. Uh, at the current state at the end of 2025 the road workbench always imports these values as meters. So even if you have the surveyor information in yards or, or centimeters, it will take those as a meters uh, during the import. And it doesn't matter which uh, unit system you have selected in your file. Uh, it, or the road workbench always imports the geo points in meters as of end of 2025. So this is it about the GeoPoints import using the road workbench. This is a very useful feature, especially then with combination with the BIM workbench. I will be following up with a tutorial on how to create a terrain from the imported GeoPoints. Now, as I stated at the beginning of the tutorial, the road workbench is an external workbench. So you have to install it into your FreeCAD installation. And uh, the main maintainer is Hakan. And uh, I will link this GitHub page in the description box of the video. And if you want to see the future development of the workbench, you can support Hakan through Patreon. I would say that currently the workbench is in its alpha state, but it has a lot of promise and a lot of useful tools. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.